This University of Havana professor has intercepted a migrant, a catbird. Its presence here gives new insight into how and where migratory birds from the United States and Canada spend their winters in Cuba, helping to unravel cross-border mysteries. In Havana's botanical gardens, a research team is busy taking notes. How much does the bird weigh? What's the species? Daniela Ventura is their professor. You might think that these little birds weighing less than 10 grams are weak. But they cross an entire ocean, come back and survive. It is spectacular. It's humbling. To think that other living beings can perform these feats that sometimes we don't think are possible. Ventura finds that this catbird was tagged in the same spot months ago in November. Since then, it's gained body fat ahead of its coming migration north across the Gulf of Mexico. While a lot is known about the ecology of migratory birds in the breeding zone in North America, Ventura says little is known about what happens in the wintering zone. Part of the problem is politics. A Cold War era embargo has long complicated cooperation between Cuba and the United States, even in science. Lourdes Mojica is a pioneering ornithologist in Cuba and helped organize the research. What we don't take care of here will affect others, so we should all be interrelated. And hopefully there will come a time when relations are normal and we can have joint projects between the two countries that will help financially to do many more things and also contribute to the care and protection of birds in our country and in the region. Mojica says this project, done in partnership with Environment and Climate Change Canada, hints at what's possible. Canadian and Cuban partners have installed a radio telemetry antenna, which follows birds radio tagged in other parts of North America. It's Cuba's first under an international tracking program called MODIS. Birds do not understand blockades. They do not understand geographic boundaries. They do not need a visa to come to our country. And it is a resource that brings people together. 